going to do here is we're going to take away this uh, these blemishes, okay? So how we're going to do that is we're going to make a new layer. I'm going to go under this layer and I'm going to make a new layer. So we're going to go Command Shift N and this is going to be um, color. All right, so this is our color layer. We're going to use our paint bucket tool, okay? Now this paint bucket tool, if we dump paint onto a layer, it's it's gonna it's gonna be like dumping paint onto the layer. It's gonna um, do the I'll turn this layer off and you'll see what I'm talking about. Here's our empty layer. If we hit it, it's gonna go all this blue color. Now it's blue here, but it's coming up this weird purple and stuff. And you can see the mask. I don't know. You probably can't see it at home, but um, you can see all these adjustment layers. They're affecting it. So if I turn them all off, you got the blue that you have. So there we go with all the adjustment layers on. Now we're not looking for blue. Um, we're looking for. We're gonna go over here to Megan, and I'm gonna sample a color from here. So I'm gonna hold the Alt key down. And just like we sampled with the uh, with the paintbrush tool, we I mean with the with the stamp tool, we we stamped an area. This is just going to select a color. So whatever color I'm over, when I click it, when I alt click it, it's gonna that's going to be the color that it's going to be. So it goes to the background color. So we have to shift it here. So if I press D, it's gonna it's gonna go back to black and white. And then I'll alt click, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So I want to use the the color that's behind. So I'm gonna hit that, and then there's the color. Now I want to go back over to my blue layer and paint. Here. Now this is getting a little odd, I know, but it works. So we got a, a light color from Megan's skin, okay? And what we're going to do here is we're going to go and we're going to get a different tool that we haven't used that yet, which is our um, healing tool. Um, so we're going to go over here and here it is. Here's our healing brush right here. So we find our healing brush. We come over here and we're going to do that same sampling sort of deal. So we're going to sample from this layer. We're going to make sure we're on the layer. We're going to make sure we've selected the layer. I'm going to hold Alt and I'm going to sample from that layer. Uh, now I'm going to I'm going to select Megan's layer. I have to turn her layer on actually. So I'm going to turn her layer on and I'm going to select Megan's layer. Um, now the way I was doing that was holding Alt and then hitting bracket key and that will cycle through selecting the layers like that so you don't have to go click them. Okay, So this is another keyboard shortcut um, to use in your layers and that's to Alt click which will select the layer above or Alt, uh, not Alt click, Alt bracket key for the level above for the right bracket key, Alt left bracket key to, to select the layer below. There you go. All right. Now that we're here and I've sampled from the color layer with my healing brush tool, what it's going to do is it's going to kind of it's going to take what I sampled from and what I'm writing on, it's going to mesh them together and make this blob of color. But it works. So, we're going to go here and you can see, whoops, we don't want that sharp edge, so we are going to command Z and we're just going to we're going to bring that down one because it can become problematic if we go any any um, lower than that. So, what I did was I shift bracket left bracket key to sh to make the uh, edges a little less sharp. So when I come in here and paint, now what I'm doing here, you'll see it's not going to look very good right off the bat. Okay, we're going to go over these bright spots, and it actually it'll come in looking decent, but it's not going to look. You know, you don't want to go with that. So you know, and that's that's that magazine look that I'm talking about. A lot of magazines do that ugly sort of. It's a lazy touch up. So we're going to go here, and we're going to get on these bright spots here. I'm going to get on her bright cheeks here. All right, and we're doing good. So here we go. We're gonna we're even gonna oh whoops. You don't want to touch these blacks, the, the, the eyes, the black see, because it's going to melt that black into there. We don't want that. So what we want to do is make sure we stay away from the, the dark edges and we're just going to get on the light. So it's mixing in the, the colors of the skin with the, the color of the skin that I plucked away. And so it's making this, you know, this kind of muddy little color patch on it right there. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our history layer. And, and we really worked so much on this picture. So we don't want it to, we don't want it to take us back to here when we use our history. So, you know, this is going to take us back to the beginning where we started. We're going to, we're, if we do the history eraser brush here, we're going to bring back um, before we soften the skin. We're going to bring back before we did all our clone stamping. So we're going to bring back artifacts of, you know, different things that we've already taken care of. So we're going to go over here and we're going to put our history, our history state is going to be from right after this last clone selection. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise up this. Oh, never mind. We don't need to, we need to get our eraser tool. So there's our eraser tool. It's already big. The opacity is 25%. We're going to put that to around 55%. So we're going to hit enter, 55, enter. Um, and then I'm going to hold down the alt key and I'm going to go over this and it's going to take us back to that state. Now, I don't think that was enough. So it wasn't enough. I still see edges on my, um, I still see edges where, where my brush went. So I can shrink this down a little, make sure it's still soft. Enter, we'll go 23, enter. So it's 23% it's opacity. And we're just going to hit the edges of where I did this. And we're going to take the softness. We're going to, we're going to soften up those edges so you don't see exactly where I painted. So it's just going down a little bit. 
and it's taking it a little bit back to where it was. So we're gonna go a little bit over here around the edges here. All right, now I'm gonna back up. And you can see she has this very soft look now. And I, I think it looks nice for her, it looks nice. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see what it looked like before we did that. We're gonna come back over here to our, our history palette and we're going to click right there. You see there's her brightness come in. There's her brightness gone. So it really changes it. It really does a good job of um, getting rid of the, the, the hot spots from the, um, from the light. Now we can come in here and use our stamp tool. Now that the skin tones are a little more even, it's gonna be easier to, to clone stamp. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna go to 70% with the clone stamp tool. We're gonna, whoops. We're gonna bring our hardness up just a little bit, I suppose. All right, and I need to alt click. I'm using a different keyboard, so. Alt click in here and then I'm gonna come right under here and just take away these lines that are under her eyes. I'm gonna go over them with this clone stamp tool and it takes them away. Now it looks a little unnatural, so we just get our eraser tool and we're gonna make sure we don't wanna go beyond this history that we did before, which is where we like it. We're gonna change our history state to there, bring the size of the brush up, and then we're gonna alt click and 23% should be good. And you see a little bit of those imperfections come back. It brings that look of reality back. So it's not this plastic looking skin, it's real skin. Personally, I think it's a lot more beautiful to be fooled into thinking something's real instead of just being like, oh, oh, that's a good Photoshop job, you know? You want people to, to just think it's a nice picture and like, wow, she's beautiful. Like, wow, she's really got this amazing skin, you know? But, um, you know, so that's, that's what we're going for. So here we go, she's looking fantastic. So now our touch-up's complete and we're just gonna bring that extra little bit of pop to the picture that I was talking about. <laughs>